The Taiwan People's Party recently caused quite a stir with its new campaign slogan, Vote White, Vote Right. After the slogan went up online, it was criticized for its white supremacist connotations. The party's presidential candidate, Ke Wenzhe, says the controversy stems from a cultural difference. Even so, the TPP has removed the line from its official website. TPP presidential candidate Ke Wenzhe made an appearance in Kaohsiung on Tuesday. The visit came after his English campaign slogan, Vote White, Vote Right, raised an outcry over its racist connotations. U.S. media outlet BNN Breaking picked up the story, noting that Ke is a controversial figure known for his contentious remarks. This is a cultural difference. In Taiwan, it's not problematic, but abroad it is. In the future, we'll get real foreigners to work on our websites. A Taipei counselor said Ke underestimates the cultural awareness of Taiwanese people. Just because the TPP themselves don't get it doesn't mean all of Taiwan doesn't get it. They are completely insulting the intelligence of Taiwanese people. Having a presidential candidate like him speaking on issues of global diplomacy would be a disaster for Taiwan. Ke urgently needs to find aides who are qualified in international affairs, diplomacy, defense, national security and matters like that. Truly qualified aides with both talent and morals, and not just a PR team that diverts attention away from blunders made throughout the day. Ke has a long record of gaps. In 2015, UK Transport Minister Susan Kramer presented Ke with a pocket watch. When a reporter asked about the gift, Ke said he might give it away or sell it to a scrap metal dealer for cash. In 2019, after returning from Israel, he landed in controversy with another remark. In Israel, they arranged for us to visit the World Holocaust Remembrance Center. The greatest publicity for Jewish people internationally has been that six million of them were murdered during Hitler's time. More recently, in June, Ke told Japanese media that Taiwanese fishers did not want to claim the Diaoyitai Islands for Taiwan, but only wanted to fish near them. Ke's campaign slogan is just another blunder on the list.